So I got the uh, fish finder um, mounting point uh, done. Made this plate, it's all done. So my next project now is to build something to hold the pole. So I went with this little transom mount from Encoda. Uh, there's some guys that have been using these already, but I'm gonna make mine a little different. So I'm gonna try to make a mount where this bolts on like this, I can deploy it, okay? Once I deploy this pole down, and I wanna bring it back up because I need to hit another spot, I'm gonna deploy it up, and I wanna make a mount where I can swivel this, this way. So that's the key right there. I need to make something where I can swivel this whole mount this way, so it rests right on top of this part, and I can, so I can go somewhere with it without having to just have it dangling up midair. So this one is boo-boo. I'm gonna cross this this garbage out and I'm gonna attempt this one to see how it works. And I'll show you guys, okay? So this is the parts I got so far for this mounting system. I got this plate, it's about a quarter inch thick steel. I'm gonna cut it in half and then I'm gonna grind this area right here so this can rest on it. So basically this is going to be an angle plate that bolts onto my Versa track. It's gonna burst on bolt onto my Versa track. And then I'm gonna have another steel pipe, square steel pipe that's gonna be welded or bolted, I haven't decided, onto this plate. And then this is gonna clamp onto this. Right? So the functionality of it is I deploy. Okay, I bring the pole back up, hit this. And I can swivel this. Let me see. I can be able to swivel this. Because this is going to be mounted onto this plate. I'll swivel it and it's going to lock. Boom. And then my pole will run parallel with you know my boat. And then I can lock it down. So that's just the idea. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to attempt it. Don't know if it's going to work or not. But I will try. So I just made my first cut with a thin blade. As you can see, it's a very thin blade. I got it down to the depth where I need it to get it to. Next, I'm gonna use a, a thicker blade to open to open this, um, this cut up a little bit because I'm gonna need to fold this into a 90 degree. So this, this will, will bump if I, if I fold it. So I'm gonna open it up a little bit so I can fold it to a 90 degree and then I'm gonna hit a well all the way across it, okay? Thicker blade. So as you can see with a wider blade, I was able to open up this groove. And you can see the angle in this groove, you see? And even then it's not enough. As I fold this plate, over this groove is going to get smaller so i'm going to make more cut to open it up because i need i need this groove to be open so i that will allow me to uh feed the weld in there to make it strong okay so here we go i just came back from my vise put on a vise and i bend it and i probably only gave it like a 30 degree bend maybe even less than that and you can see the groove is smaller now you see that so I'm going to run it with the same blade, open it up a little more, bend it a little more. And I'm going to continue to do that until I get the right angle and make sh making sure that this groove is big enough for me to feed some well in there.
Okay, this is like the second cut. I just opened it up a little more. So I'm gonna to continue to bend it a little more. And as this gap closes, I'm gonna open it up again. So probably there's gonna be another, one more cut maybe. So I'm almost at a 90 degree bend already. And as you can see, the gap is completely closed. So I'm gonna to continue to open, open it up and uh, leave it at that. Okay, this looks like uh, the final cut. The groove has widened enough for me to put some well in there. But before I do anything, I'm going to drill some holes to mount this bracket on top of it. Then we'll do some adjustment on the boat at, at what angle I need this plate to be. So the pole mounting system will be uh, parallel to the water. So first thing I'm going to do with this plate is drill out some holes where I want to mount this uh, turntable. So I have already marked and punched four holes that are going to drill right through this this metal and into this turntable. And the holes are probably going to mount right there and there's going to be one hole there. And the reason why I want to do that because I don't want to use these holes. These are way too big. I don't have to run like an M12 or M14. I just want to run a M10, M10 to mount this turntable into this bracket. And then I'm going to drill two hole here, but it's going to take some measurement that's going to bolt onto my Versa track. Okay, just got done with uh, the four holes. These are the four pilot holes, small maybe one eighth, even less than that. These are just pilot holes that's gonna help me align to drill this piece on there. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna clamp on this piece, reverse it, drill it from the other side, that way I can match this turntable. And from there, I'm gonna just open up those holes into about 10, 10 millimeter size. So I got the turntable bracket clamped down into this right angle bracket in position where I want it. These are four pilot holes that I just drilled out. So all I'm going to do is drill through these holes and it will make it through this turntable. And now I have pilot hole on this side and that side. And then I can drill it individually to uh, an M10 hole. All right, my little uh, pilot holes drilled out all the way through is drill all the way through to the turntable bracket so from here I'm just gonna leave it like that and start opening it up with a, a bigger drill bit until I get to an M10 size hole there you go all four holes drilled out to M8 countersunk done for the day next step I'm gonna mount it onto the boat and uh, adjust that angle we're gonna bolt it on first we're gonna bolt the turntable onto this plate and we're gonna put onto the boat and we're going to determine where these holes are going to be drilled onto the Versa track. So as you can see, uh, this right angle plate, I'm going to call it a right, right angle plate, the base plate actually, uh, the holes are already drilled out to M8. I already bend it on the vise, uh, roughly a 90 degree bend, but it seems like because this part of the boat is still, is, is, pivot up this way so I still need to bend a lot more uh, to get it flat so my my boat is level right now but you see how this is sticking up still I need I need this line right here this platform to sit flush with the boat with the angle that I have right now so I'm gonna bend a little more so as you can see there's a flat surface area right here where this bracket is actually sitting flush right here in this area where this the uh, the bolts gonna go through here the Versa track so you can see I bend it a lot already but I'm gonna lay it flat this is pretend it's bolted on right now and as you can see the level is still not there center yet so the whole idea 
is to get this surface area to sit true flat like the boat. So the boat's sitting true flat right now because I took this indicator and I put it onto my transducer in the back. It's sitting like, you know, right there. So I still have a several degree to bend this plate to get it that to set a center. Okay. So however this plate's gonna sit, I'm utilizing these little stopper, it's kind of like a chair stopper, plastic, hard plastic. You can pick them up at Home Depot. I'm going to screw these on to the bottom of that that base base mount, let's just call it. So as I'm sliding it back and forth when I need to move it out of the way, I don't scratch up on my uh, boat. And plus, you, you need that support so it doesn't move as you put weight on it. Okay? Alrighty. Looks like I got the angle just right. So I'm going to sit this area right there, flush to my rail. Okay? And you can see my two stopper that I'm going to position it right there I'm going to bolt it onto this plate and as you can see my bubble is right there it's a little high on the right side but that's okay because once you weld this this bend right here together it, it might fold a little bit so I think I'm good right there I'm going to start welding that bend and drilling some three holes right here to bolt this whole bracket onto the Versa track. So here's the next thing I'm going to do with this uh, base plate. Because I have taken so much material off of this angle, if I start welding a beam of weld here across this plate, this will start to pull and fold. And that's going to mess up the angle of my, uh, my mounting point. I need this to be flush and flat with the boat uh, parallel to the water. So what I did was I just cut up some little triangle gusket. I'm going to tack weld it just like that to give it that support so when I start running some weld in there this will not come down. I mean it will come down a little bit but at least this will support it uh, significantly. So all I'm going to do is just hit a bead of weld on there just one, one tack just to hold it in place and I'll check my level later because I might have to uh, cut it off if the angle is not correct. So that's one piece that I got laid out right there. So now the next piece right here. So here's the second gusket that I'm going to weld on here. Just a little tack, just to hold it in place, just like that. Okay. There you go. I got two little gusket welded on there. That's just for temporary. I got one more piece over here that I'm probably going to do it in the center, but that's later. I'm going to check the level of this plate first before I move forward and while the rest so since I have this mounting plate uh, the base plate on the bench right now um, I'm just going to drill two little pilot holes so I can screw down these little bumper stop that's going to sit onto uh, my boat so I'm going to start drilling that first since I'm going to climb on my boat to check a level and everything so I'm, I need these bumper stop to be on here just gonna sit somewhat like that so here are the stopper I got them on but however the problem is the position is sitting I can't have it through like this because the turning point of the other bracket that sits on top of it is in the way so I'm gonna have to nub off whatever extra bolt that's sticking out right there luckily I threaded it so it is threaded onto this plate which is fine. I'm just going to use some uh, Loctite and secure it really tight right there. So right now, I'm at the point where I'm going to mount it and drill the hole for the Versa track. So 
as you can see, the stopper's just there. So if I get this to be flush onto my VersaTrack, right around there. So you see my level? It's close enough. To me, that's good. That's mean this plate is sitting flat to the water surface or flat to this boat. So I drew the line where I'm going to drill three hole, quarter inch hole. You see those three marks? And that's where I'm going to run my knob that's going to secure this. And then whatever extra meat on the bottom, like maybe right here, I'm just going to cut it off. Okay. All right, so these are the three bolt that I'm going to three hole that I'm going to drill out for my uh, knob to hold on to this plate and the whole entire unit with the uh, <clears throat> Versa Track system. So I'm going to drill a pilot hole first, always get some WD-40 in that drill bit so it doesn't damage my billet bid. Drill the first hole right here. Always start off small. Don't rush the big bids all day. Start off small. Get a pilot hole going first. And then move on to the next bid, and then to the, I usually do about three bids. The first bid can be small, and then the second one, and the third one will be the final one. Okay, I'm not going to film with this whole entire process because it's going to take up a lot of time. So I'll show you when everything is done, okay? All right, here's the finished product. All three holes drilled out to a quarter inch which I'm going to be using this carriage bolt right here. I don't know if you can see it. Okay, this carriage bolt is going to go into the VersaTrack and it's going to come out like this. And then I have three knobs that's going to hold this whole unit together. And those knobs, I didn't go cheap. I didn't buy no plastic one. I got some stainless steel ones. So because, because the fact that this unit and on top of this unit is so much weight. So I went with three knobs, all stainless steel, bolt, all stainless steel. That way, it gives it extra strength, okay? And durability and no rust, no corrosion, none of that stuff. So since I'm already here, I am going to nub off this extra protruding bolt. Just cut it off. I'm probably going to use Loctite and hold these stoppers in place. And that's where I'm at. Let's get it onto the boat and mount it and see what it looks like. Here's the finished product of my base plate, which is the most important plate. This is the starting point of everything else that will stack on top of it. So it's very imperative that this plate sits as flat as I can make it go flat. So, I mean, this is the best, but I believe it might fold down a little more once I start hitting this well. So these are the knobs that I'm using to hold it in place. There's three stainless steel knobs, solid. I mean, this thing, this thing not even budging. And on the other end, my stopper sitting where it's supposed to sit. And here's where the level as it's being bolted down. It's a little bit on the high side on the right side, but that's okay because once you start welding, it's going to move a little bit. And also, I can still play around with some adjustment here. These holes that I drill out for a quarter inch, I'm going to oblong it a little bit. Okay, I'm going to stretch it out a little bit, each hole just a little bit, just to have enough room to uh, wiggle this plate around. So the next thing I'm going to do, I already drill out three holes. For my mounting point on my verse track since there's so much meat left right here i have to remove it so i drew a line right here about uh, it's about an inch below these holes so i'm going to cut it off right now So I just got cleaning this plate up, you know, giving it a little smoother angle and all the edges, clean up the surface. Uh, I'm getting ready to install the middle gusket right here. And then from there, I'm going to weld a beam of weld all the way across. And then we'll put it back on to the boat and test it out for level. Okay.
I'm gonna let it sit right, try to get it as flush as possible. I'm gonna hit a wall right there. You see, right around there. That looks good. Take this vice off. Another one right here. Oh man, that was just my brightness. Okay, you to hit <clears throat> all the weld on these gusket first. Get that out of the way. Let's see. One right there. One right there. So here's the well that I hit on all the gusket on all the corners as much as I can. <clears throat> it should be where is that right now. So I'm not going to weld it yet. I'm just going to mount this piece on and start with the <clears throat> the, the mounting point of the uh, Minn Kota transom mount. So I'm going to go from there. I'm, I, I can weld this later, but I had to adjust my... Uh, crazy ass helmet around here because I'm welding outdoors so man it was bright it literally burned my eyes right now so there you go